Tommy says, I asked him, what was going on? And Tommy says, I couldn't tell you. I never met another prisoner. I saw a charge twice. I tried to communicate, but the glass was too thick. He says, I'm broken after nine weeks. I can't believe this guy's done a couple of years, you know? There's only one decision! No US! UK! The husband of Baroness Sharp, Baroness of Walton on the Hill, our Lady Justice of Appeals, husband lent Boris Johnson £800,000 and secured his job as the director of the BBC. This is how British politics works. This is how the favours, the back, the revolving door of finance and corruption has overtaken the body politics of the UK. So free Julian Assange and save yourselves. What's your name, sir? It's Kasim Kass. Kasim Kass. Yeah. Hello, Kass. Hi. And uh, what brings you here today? Well, one and one reason only, and that is that what's been happening in Assange's case. The fundamental point here is the extradition based on his hell grounds. You've had um, Judge Vanessa saying that his extradition to the US will be oppressive on health grounds. So I think that's the most important, important piece uh, we, have, we have to take into consideration. And also, preservation of life. Uh, it was one of the articles in the Human Rights uh, Charter with the uh, ECHR. So I hope Assange's lawyers uh, look into this and push this forward. I really believe that Assange should not be extradited to the US. And the reason why I'm here is simply to advocate for human rights, but also to stop his uh, extradition. We're all here to support Assange, not only for his uh, bravery, um, for his chivalry, but also the fact that he's exposed war crimes, um, but also what he's done for the greater good as well. I cannot think of any case in the last 100, 200, 300 years where this has gone so big, so huge, at this, um, at this colossal level, um, that he's exposed. And the treatment he's getting is, is just is below minus zero. Everybody should communicate together. Everybody should be free and equal. Freedom of expression, freedom of opinion is the basic thing for the democracy. Freedom for Julia Assange, freedom for everybody. Thank you very much. Sarebbe come una corsa contro il tempo dell'esito più che mai incerto. Assange si trova ormai da quasi cinque anni nel carcere di massima sicurezza di Belmarsh, qui a Londra in regime di isolamento. I suoi legali lo descrivono come un uomo profondamente segnato emotivamente, psicologicamente, fisicamente, a rischio. Can I ask what brings you here today? Julian Assange. Of course. Freedom, justice and all the rest that goes through with, with all, our lives. Because if Julian Assange is not free, none of us is free. But telling the truth, sense and truth is a crime. If truth is a crime, <laughs> that's no lie. And languishing in the worst prison in England is a crying shame. It's evil beyond evil. Justice is our right, human right. This, this planet is ours. Not only for, for the few. We belong here. I don't know no other planet. I know no other planet but this one. And this evil is going on there too much. What's it like for journalistic aspect, uh, access in there at the moment? Because we've had some problems getting a. Uh, well, I'm, I'm constantly getting a problem with getting access to the courts here, and uh, it was no different this morning. I was originally denied access uh, uh, on Thursday. I protested and demanded that uh, that would be uh, 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 reviewed by the court. They did allow me access, but when I turned up this morning, 
I find out that I'm not allowed into the tiny courtroom where this is taking place, the proceedings, but put into an annex room. In that annex room, uh, the, which was uh, supposed to be fed by audio and video from the main room, the audio was so poor that all the journalists in there couldn't hear a thing. They were loudly protesting. Uh, they claimed to fumble that, that they were trying to fix it, fix it but it, it wasn't fixed. You couldn't make out the words. So I simply said, this is humiliating, this is absurd, so I left the room. Really? Okay. So it seems like a very crude, uh, exciting obstruction is going on. Well, and, but it doesn't, not, doesn't surprise me. It's been going on in every proceedings. Obstruction uh, uh, in a sense that, that journalists are not allowed to get, they have a hard time getting inside. International observers, MPs who want access. I mean, it's a constant struggle. They, it's like the entire system when it comes to Julian Assange. They don't want anybody around. They want to do their, their dirty work in the shadows. And this is what we're experiencing and seeing this morning. Okay, so are you going to attempt to go back in the courtroom or what's your, what's your uh, strategy going forward? Uh, I'm just going to wait and see. They promised to fix the audio at, in the lunch break in the annex room. So I'll reconsider or maybe I'll try again. But it was just... A, doesn't make any sense to sit there and uh, listen to a muffled voice of, of, the, of the, the process where you cannot make out any words. It's okay. absurd. Okay, thank you very much. What brings me here today is the truth. I'm here to stand up for the truth. And that truth, in this case, is Julian Assange. This is for our future. It's about our kids. It's for the freedom. That's why I'm here. Okay. UK is the original signatory of a, a Human Rights Act. And that act states that if one faces unfair trial, torture uh, or death penalty, he cannot be extradited to that country. It's simple as that. But what, is, well, what we're actually seeing uh, in this spectacle is that uh, his lawyers are arguing a case. Is he a, a spy? Did he do this or did he do that? He spoke the truth. That's the bottom line. He spoke the truth. In case he's extradited, he will be tortured, spend life in prison. That torture, it's not a punishment, it's a torture. He would be most probably put on a, 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 a death row and his trial would be unfair. So the judge, who is uh, uh, supposed to be, su what the judge is supposed to do is to upheld the law. And the law, the, the human rights law, states exactly that. That's against his human rights. And just on those bases, he should be free. Okay. Do you think there's any hope that the European Court of Courts of Human Rights will actually be effective in stopping this extradition? It should be. It should be. But that, that's, why, that's why it exists. But you believe the truth will out eventually? Absolutely. You okay. can't hide the truth. No. Okay. No. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pleasure. After the proceedings, we will march to Downing Street. And we will voice our opinion there. And this travesty 
Free Julian Assange. Free Julian Assange. At one point, the court proceedings had to be stopped in the main courtroom simply because the audio feed to the annex was insufficient for the journalists and the other observers to hear what's going on. Now, that's not a question of justice. It's just a question of competence to allow observers. Justice that is blind, justice that is behind closed doors, justice which is secret, is no justice at all. WikiLeaks has been used as evidence in uh, the European Court of Human Rights and other foreign courts to expose state criminality. And the United States is abusing its legal system in order to hound and prosecute and intimidate all of you. Shame! Shame! Corrupt United States! What's at stake is the ability to publish the truth and expose crimes when they're committed by states. We are the last line of defense for Julian Assange. We are the last line of defense in the, the most important free speech trial this century. And remember what it was that the New York Times said back at the time of the Iraq war, that there are two superpowers in the world. One is the United States and the other is world public opinion. We are today the representatives of that opinion on the streets of London. Bravo.